Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about Slack. Some people love it, some people hate it. If you're anything like me, you probably wake up to 50 to 100 unread Slack messages on a daily basis. So today, we're gonna talk about a couple quick keyboard shortcuts that I think are gonna change the way you use Slack and it's gonna make you fly through that inbox of unread messages even quicker than you ever have before. So let's jump right in. Okay, I'm logged into Slack now and there's a couple keyboard shortcuts that I think are gonna be really valuable in terms of how you navigate Slack channels. So if I start right here, you can see I'm hovered on PMM questions. One of the ultimate ways to tab through channels is just by holding option and then your up and down arrow. So you'll see if I hold option and I click down, I just jumped to PMM SF. Click up, PMM questions, up fresh content. So one thing that's even cooler about this is when you click shift. So I'm now holding option still. I'm gonna add in shift and I click up. You'll see it's gonna jump me to PMM resources because that's the most um, recent unread message or I can click option shift down and it will jump me down to random. So this is a super quick way to jump back and forth between channels where you have unread messages. I can't recount the number of times that I've got a message in a thread and I go and respond to it. Then I go quickly option shift down, go back to the message thread. It's a quick and easy way to jump through unread messages. The next thing that I do is I use command K to search all of the time. So if I just do command K, it jumped me right up top there. I can search for basically anything. I can search for a channel. I can search for a person. I can search for a file. Whatever it is, it's quick and easy with Command K. Stop using your mouse and jumping up there and clicking and scrolling through things. It's way quicker to just stay on your keyboard. The next one I wanna talk about is just Command Shift D. It's a super quick and easy way to just hide the sidebar. Maybe you're deep in a channel, maybe you're reading a thread. Command Shift D just hides anything that's on the side over there. The last one that I use literally 100 times a day would be Option Click. So I've got a message here from Christina. She's telling me about something super exciting we're working on. I know I wanna to respond to it, but I just don't have time. I'll just hold Option Click. You'll see that it is now marked as unread and I can go back and do my various other keyboard shortcuts to get anywhere else in Slack. So that's general navigation within Slack. Those, I don't know, six keyboard shortcuts will change the way you use Slack. It's gonna make you so much quicker. The next thing I wanna talk about is text formatting. If you can manage to type out your messages and do all of your formatting via keyboard shortcuts, I guarantee you're gonna be a lot quicker. Okay, so I'm ready to start drafting my first message. Let's talk about a couple quick keyboard shortcuts that are gonna allow you to format your text way quicker. So I'm gonna go Command N to start a new message, and I'm just going to search for Barb right here. So there we go, we've got Barb. So now I can start typing my message, and I'm gonna show you a couple quick ways to edit this text. So this is my first message to Barb. So if I just go and highlight all of that text, most of you are probably familiar, but Command B will make it bold. Maybe I need to go to the next line. I can do Shift Return. That gets you to the next line without actually sending your message by accident. Many of you probably know the horror of accidentally clicking Return just one time too soon. You've also got the ability to do code snippets. So if I do Command Shift C, I can see I'm now in code. So we've got slash solution there and do another shift return here. I don't know about you, but I use bulleted lists and numbered lists all the time. So that is command shift seven. We've got a list here. So we've got number one, number two, and number three. I'm also using a bulleted list. That's command shift eight. So we can do that. And the last one here is for quotes. If you go Command Shift 9, maybe you want to paste in a note that someone else said recently. And so that's all done with kind of the quote sidebar there. The last one here is quick and easy for emojis. So if I go semicolon here and I do fire and I do joy and I'll do fire again. So it's just a quick and easy way to format your text within Slack, get those messages out quicker. 
use those other general navigation tips just to hop around really quickly and jump to your next message. Stop being overburdened by that large inbox of Slack messages. The last quick tip I'm going to leave you with is the ability to set custom notifications. So the way how we do that is you go into Slack settings here. You'll see right here, we've got my keywords. So this is a way to highlight a specific keyword. Maybe you see it pretty frequently in certain channels. Maybe there's a certain product that you need to be aware of and you just want to know when people are talking about it. The way how keywords work is you add your text, separate it by a comma, add as many words as you need to. Then anytime those words are used within a channel that you're in, you get a little one next to it and it highlights the text so you know when people are talking about it. So for myself, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna put product marketing here. I'm also gonna put sales deck and I'm gonna put live presentation because I know that those are projects that I'm working on and I wanna see when other people are talking about them. So once those are done, when I go into a different channel, you'll see here, let's try and find one. So right here, PMMSF, you can see product marketing is highlighted there because that's one of the words that I added into my keywords. This has been hugely valuable for me for navigating Slack and recognizing when someone might be calling out something or a person or a project or something that I need to be aware. So those are the quick tips for Slack. I hope that's been beneficial to you. I hope that allows you to kind of do your keyboard shortcuts and get just through that Slack inbox just a little bit quicker. So thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, hit subscribe and leave me a comment. Love to chat with you guys. So see you in the next one.